In this video, we are going to look at a particular sequence that you may not be aware of. This is known as the lazy sequence. But before we jump into the lazy sequence, let's go ahead and see why do we need a lazy sequence. Let's consider a scenario where we have a lot of data. In this case, we have indexes which are from 1 to less than 5000, but it can be 50,000, 100,000, or even a million. And what we want to do is we want to iterate through the indexes and build up a string or build up a URL. So we need to perform many different actions on every single item of the index, but we are only interested in the last three of those items. So how should we do it? Well, if we want to perform different actions, we still have to perform a filter. So let's go ahead and do a filter. And let's say that we are picking up only the even numbers. So we will go ahead and get the index. We will return Boolean. And you will know in a second that why we are writing the index over here and the Boolean over here, just to give the closure a little bit of idea what we're trying to do and what we will be returning. I'm going to write filter over here so that you know that the filter is getting fired. And then we will go ahead and return if the index mod of 2 is equals to 0. This means that we are just going to select things that are divisible 100% with 2, which are even numbers. Next, we're going to go ahead and perform the map. So maybe we will get all of those numbers and now Let's say that we want to return a string and we will go ahead and print out map. Okay. And let's say that we want to return kind of like the name of an image. And over here we can say that this will be index because we are returning numbers over here. So let's just go and call this index. And index will become the name of the string. It doesn't really matter in this case. And we will go ahead and say image underscore, and then we will simply inject the value of index. Now, when we are on line number six, this particular line is already executed. So I will say images. If I go ahead and print out the value of images, you will see that what the images will look like. It will be an array of strings. But look at what we have to do. We have to call the filter function. If I go ahead and go on the top, you can see it's going crazy, right? I mean, if I want to go on the top, I'll just go and there we go. So we had to fire filter 5,000 times. Then somewhere we have to fire map 5,000 times. And then eventually we got the result and we print out the result. Now, if we were only trying to take a couple of different images at the end of this array, we can use a suffix and we can say a three, that I only want the last three. But I still have to perform all of those different operations to get to those three items. And I have to construct a brand new array because a filter is going to return you a new array. I also have to construct another array which is using map because map is going to return you another brand new array. So all of these things that you're returning from the index and from the map, they are going to occupy in some sort of a memory, some sort of a space, an array of 5,000, you know, numbers, an array of 5,000 name of images. But in the end, we decided that we are only interested in the last three or a subset of those images. But we still had to go through all of those different operations, 5,000 times filter, 5,000 times map. What if we have a way to look forward and not store the filter and the map result into some sort of an array, but just to look forward and then grab those three items? Well, you can simply go ahead and say indexes.lazy. Now what's going to happen? is that the result of the filter and the result of the map is not going to be stored in some temporary arrays, but it's going to be look forward, projected, and then we will be able to get those items. Now, whenever we use something called lazy, 
it's not really going to give you anything right now. So if I go ahead and run this, you can see that it performed the filter, but it's not really going to give you anything. And the reason it's not giving you anything right now is because in order to execute the filter, we should be able to perform an iteration on it. So when we don't iterate on images, we're not going to get anything. So let's go ahead and say last three images, images dot suffix. Still, the, the loop is not really running at this point. All right. Next, we can say for image in last three images. And now we can go ahead and print out the image. We can also use the for each over here instead of using a for. You can do that. And let's go ahead and run this. Now you can see that we are running it and it's not that many times. And we got the correct image. You can actually see the images that we received are correct. But you can see that we didn't really have to do 5,000 times filter and 5,000 times map and store those values in some sort of an array. But we had the opportunity to look at the downstream. Downstream means the result of the map function without the upstream, meaning the filter, being completed. So this is really, really cool for things if you have a long list and you want a, only a subset of those things. So you can see that our actual implementation or our actual uh, result is much less as compared to what we were doing before, where we were doing 5,000 times map and 5,000 times filter. And then in the end, we were like, oh, by the way, we only need three items from there. So over here, what we have done, we perform a little bit of filter. And every time we're doing a filter, it's also looking forward and looking at, oh, is this like the last three items of the array? Or is it the last three items of the array? And then we found those items and then we can perform. You can see the map was performed and we picked up the item. Map was performed. So it's also looking at the map, which is that like the downstream, which is right here, before even the upstream is finished. And that's the whole point of lazy. It's not really going to put the result of the filter and result of the map into a separate array, but it is going to look forward when this performing filter is looking forward also to the result of the map. And if it finds that, oh, yeah, this looks like the last three items, then it's just going to get those last three items as you did over here. So in conditions like where you have a large subset of data, and you only want a small subset from that large subset, maybe lazy is a better choice. Having said that, keep in mind that whenever you iterate through last three images, it's going to perform this iteration again uh, as compared to previous one where you have performed the iteration one time and now you have stored the result into an array. So keep those things in mind and use lazy wherever you can uh, in situations where you have a large set of data and you only are interested in a very small subset of the large data.